Simo, since we last caught up, how's life going? It's going well, it's going really well. When did we last catch up? A good few months ago now. Uh, it was before I'd retired. And yeah, I think a lot of things have changed, but yeah, I'm really, enjoy really enjoying life. What was the first thing you did when you retired? Go on holiday, take some time off, or straight into work? Exactly that, yeah. I took a few months off. I'd spoken to a lot of ex-teammates about their transitions out, and that was one recurring theme. Take some time away, decompress for a little bit before you, you jump into the next adventure. So yeah, took three months off and, and really enjoyed it. Some nice time with the family. What have been some of the perks since you've had time off or taken a step away from rugby? Great question. I don't miss training in the wet and the cold. Over the, and especially, I mean, Christmas as well is amazing, having that much time off without that kind of frenetic training schedule and match schedule. Yeah, it's, it's getting out in this kind of weather. I mean, it'll be very different in the summer when I'm stuck in the office uh, and can't get outside and look like a pale ghost. I'm going to miss being out in the training field then, but not right now. How's the job going? Has it been a good start for you in your uh, working life? It has, yeah. I mean, I'm really lucky. I was working part-time for the last two years alongside playing here, and that made the transition out a lot softer, I'd say. And I knew my team, and I kind of knew my role. But it is a really challenging thing. You know, I'm, I've got so much to learn again. It's like being an academy player, and, you, you know, you look at the first-team guy. It's, it's such a long way off, and, and yeah, often that is how I feel. You know, you have your moments of self-doubt, the same as anyone would, changing, you know, careers and sectors. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really difficult. But on the flip side... I feel like you know a lot of guys who've done it once, and there's such a kind of a long, you know, line of players who've had exceptional careers in whatever they turn to next. So yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm really enjoying the challenge. And being in the career path that you've gone into, have you found being an ex-rugby player has helped you at all? To some extent, I don't know. I try. I, to be fair, I kind of try and not. I don't want to lean on it too much. I really want to have some separation. I don't want to be that guy, the, the rugby guy. I kind of want to earn my earn my stripes and be known for being good at my job. I don't want that to come into it, but uh, you know, it, it often comes up in conversation for sure. And looking back on your time at Harlequins and your last six months since retiring, do you feel like the club helped you prepare for this transition? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I cannot say enough about Andy Sanger. That bloke is something else. I mean, without him, a lot of guys would be in far more precarious positions than they are, and, and he's just a just a great human. And days like today, well, maybe not with this weather, but does it make you miss it a bit, being around the place? Yeah, I, I bought my boots, so uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd love a run out.